I'm Robert Blake. I'm here in Norm's Guitar Shop in the San Fernando Valley. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is give him this Beretta guitar. So I did four years on Beretta. And as it turned out, the first episode, I had a different guitar. And we were working out in the streets in the valley, and it was like 120 degrees. And in the middle of a scene, the guitar exploded. <laughs> it wound up looking like a frying pan. So I went in a pawn shop, and I found this little root beer Martin. And I bought it. And I spent a lot of time for four years on Beretta with this guitar. I hate to sign it to Norm because I don't really like him. He's not a very pleasant guy. But I get along well enough with him. Some people don't think I'm pleasant. I don't know why. Now we're going to take this little sweetie pie and find a hole for him in it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. You know how it is sometime when you run into an old girlfriend after a thousand years? <laughs> I saw my old girlfriend on the street last night. She was so pretty, I just smiled. We talked about some old times, and we had ourselves some wine. I'm still crazy after all these years. This is the first guitar that I gave Norm. This is the original In Cold Blood guitar that I bought up in Las Vegas. I think I paid $15 for it in a hawk shop. And this was the guitar that I used all the way through in cold blood, wherever you go, when I was playing Perry Smith. A lot of other people who played Perry Smith think, I think he's going to become like Billy the Kid and every year somebody's going to play Perry Smith. Anyway, that guitar is in there is from a series that I did called Helltown where I played a priest. But this guitar, when I go to heaven, I'm going to take this guitar with me because this is one of the sweetest experiences I ever had in my life. And this guitar was with me day and night. And Perry's favorite song was a cigarette that bears those lipstick traces, He's an airline sure. ticket to romantic places, and still my heart has wings, these foolish things remind me of you. A tinkling piano in the next apartment, those stumbling words, that's Norm over there trying to direct this thing. I don't tell him how to sell guitars, but he's just a pain of enough to come in here. All right, get over it. What do you want? What's that belt buckle in there? Take a hike. All right, I'm out of here. Take a hike. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. And the next language you hear is not going to go on television. All right. Okay? Go sell I'm a guitar. I'm going to go sell a guitar. Go sell a guitar. Now I'm going to sell something. I'm going to do just a slight hustle here, and I'm no good at it. In my old age, I'm 78 years old, and through a series of weird circumstances, I wound up on the, uh, somebody gave me a Facebook, and I started writing, and then I turned it into a book, and it's called Tales of a Rascal. And if you're a fan, or if you love Hollywood, you might like the book. I don't need to sell it. I put about three quarters of the book on my website. It's called robertbobbyblake.com. And you can go there and read as much of the book as you want for nothing. I don't need the dough. I mean, I'm broke. I couldn't buy a hand job for a field mouse right now, but I don't need money. It's okay with me. But anyway, it's there. I've done a lot of uh, performing in my life since I was two years old for 76 years. And this little piece of work that I did is the biggest pain in the ass I've ever done in my life. I hope I pulled it off at least halfway. What can I say going out? 
Here's my advice after 78 years. Whatever you're doing, give it all you got. Because tomorrow may not show up. So long, Dave.